Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, oh man, this fan is broken. This gigabyte fan is definitely broken. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update of what I wanna do with my AI rigs. Currently, none of them are rented. I'm on various platforms and across the board, the utilization rate on all of them is under 50%, sometimes 40%. And so I'm surprisingly not rented on majority of my AI rigs here. So what I wanna do is uh, I wanna tear them down, okay? I'm gonna talk to you guys about my plan, all right, on these things and yeah, tearing them down and basically I'm gonna be moving towards server cases okay and I actually just got a new server case in another one I know you guys know that 5090 server case I just got in I haven't built that yet but I have two server rigs that are going on right now my 3091 and 103060s okay 6 3090s 10 3060s and they're on a new platform a private platform so this is one i wanted to talk with you guys about in today's video i'm not sponsored by them at all but it is simple pod.ai all right if you guys know the name there simple may remind you of a company a mining software company called simple mining.net they have branched out now into a gpu cloud AI rental platform where you can build and train AI ML models. If you need to access raw GPU power or anything like that, you can do that through simplepod.ai. And I was using their platform. This is not sponsored. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I was able to get on their platform and put these types of servers on their platform. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to put these types of singular rigs, you know, 3090s that are on like you know a 5950x they don't want that they want to have enterprise grade hardware because they want to have the best quality types of servers on their platform for people that are going to be renting you know these types of gpus for whatever workload that they want they want to have quality they want to have uptime they want to have server grade stuff ecc memory and so actually i've known the owner of simplepod.ai for about what seven years since I used simplemining.net way back in the day. I was actually still friends with him on Discord and I messaged him and he's like, yeah, you wanna try our platform? Go for it. I'm not technically a data center, but I do have server grade stuff. So he allowed me to put on my 3090 server here, okay, Octo server, and it's got, you know, an Epic CPU, 256 gigs of RAM, 63090s he said yeah you know it could be better but let's try it and i have a 10 by 3060 rig which is connected but there is an issue because it is an intel based system intel xeons which are not favored that much on symbolpod.ai so epic cpus are definitely where it's at and where they want to have it but i do have it on the platform i will show you guys how i'm connected on the web GUI on their UI later on in this video. But just to show you here, yeah, it was very easy to connect to simplepod.ai. Literally just, I, I, all I had to do was image the SSD, or sorry, the NVMe on the servers. All right, I took them out. I put them in my external NVMe drive reader. I imaged the simplepod AI image on the drives, put them back in the servers, turn it on. It boots like this, and I just got to enter in my email address to connect to my account that's on simplepod.ai in order to uh, in order to host. It was so easy. I didn't have to do anything else. I, I love it. I love the onboarding process of uh, simplepod.ai. It's it's super easy. Very similar to their simplemining.net operating system, you know, back in the day for mining, just put in your email address. I love it. Anyways, now to talk about my singular builds here okay they've to be honest they've been quite underwhelming over the past couple months it was great maybe during the summertime uh, maybe back in september too a little bit but over the past couple weeks and I, i've been hearing this from everybody is that the rental rate for a lot of these rigs singular rigs it just hasn't been great at all there hasn't been no but no demand for even 4090s i you know what's really sad actually i have 4090s on Clore.ai right now, and I've undercutted the price every against everyone, and they still didn't get rented. So, oh, actually, one of them is rented, but at like two dollars and like two dollars and twenty cents a day. So 
that's another sad thing that's happening with a lot of uh, you know GP rental right now is the rental rate is going down on a lot of these you know singular style rigs 4090s 3090s uh, 5090s seem to be in demand now I've been seeing the rental utilization for 5090s being much more because obviously 5090s are, are better GPUs and it seems like there's been more optimization, more support and such for the 5090s for, you know, any AI workload now. So yeah, like the 5090 is a, is a powerhouse GPU for that kind of stuff. And so it's being rented now. So I think 5090s are still great for anyone that has it in these types of builds. I'm gonna keep mine like this for now. This is a 5090 and I have a singular uh, 79, 45HX CPU, 64 gigs of RAM. You know, I'm gonna keep it like this. But my other rigs, okay, my other 4090s, I'm gonna be taking them down, okay? Majority of them on 3900Xs, 5900Xs, uh, Ryzen CPUs, 64 gigs of RAM, I'm gonna take them down. Another 4090 I'm gonna take down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take down all my 4090s. I actually have two more upstairs. So I have a total of six 4090s that I'm gonna take down and uh, I'm gonna then convert the, the other rigs, the singular rigs, the CPUs to CPU mining. And I'm gonna maybe take off the RAM. I have 64 gig kits of RAM on each of these rigs as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I don't know, maybe sell it. I know RAM is really expensive right now. That's what a lot of people are doing. So maybe I'll sell my 64 gig kit, kits of RAM. I still have all my eight gig and 16 gig kits. So I'll probably put them back in on these machines and turn them into uh, CPU mining rigs, which I have right now, which are doing pretty good actually. CPU mining rigs are always churning out profit every day uh, for me at my electrical rate here. So that's what, that's what I plan on doing. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be taking these down, the 4090s down, and I'm gonna be placing it into this new server. Oh, actually, I have 3090s in this server. I'm actually thinking about taking out the 3090s here, putting them in this server because it's gonna be an Intel-based one, and then I'm gonna put the 4090s, the 6 4090s, into the Octo server because it's an Epic-based system. So yeah, that's, that's my plan guys. That's the plan I'm doing. Let me know what you guys think, but otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be retiring from these types of builds now and going into uh, the private platform, okay, simplepod.ai, which again, not everyone can join, but you know, if you're interested in it and you're a data center and you have UPS backup, backup generators, dual internet, fiber internet, all that kind of stuff, that's what they're looking for. They wanna have high quality servers uh, for their platform. I'll have links down below if you wanna join up on simplepod.ai. Uh, check out you know, their UI there. It's actually really slick if you wanted to rent out any GPU for any VPS even, uh, virtual private server, you can do it that way as well. But they have Docker as well. Very easy to set up, very easy to rent and utilize the systems on simplepod.ai. Go check it out guys if any of you guys are into uh, renting out systems like that. All right guys, so now I just, I'm gonna go in the computer. I'm gonna show you guys the SimplePod AI, how I have my two servers connected right now. And yeah, it was, again, it was so easy to register and connect the server to their platform. And yeah, actually I know some people are gonna comment, Red Panda, why don't you have your servers on your server rack? And the biggest issue that I have is that right behind my server rack, is a concrete wall as you can see so the back of these servers it would all the heat would just go right into the back it would just be hitting a concrete wall so kind of bad on my part the way i have this all laid out i didn't think i would be putting you know high heat servers here and yeah all the lan cables going into my house go in the back there so i can't just like maybe flip it over but but future thinking, I've been thinking of adding another server rack or two, okay, in this area here, all right? So I'm thinking about maybe adding two server racks, but they're facing this way out the window and I can have exhaust going out that way, all right? So I'd probably get rid of that red shelf or maybe I can just put the red shelf this way, put the servers this way, but I, I kind of want to rack mount the servers and uh, I'm thinking about running two more 30 amp circuits at the top there, and then I can have two uh, power distribution units, one for each rack, and then, yeah, I can power, I can have more servers, in a sense. So you guys let me know if you think uh, that's a good idea, bad idea, something I was looking into, maybe I could do that. 
as now I'm getting into these types of servers. I just got another one in. You guys know I have another server. Here are all my 178Xs mining. These are all going great. Solo mining ergo. But I do have 8 x 5090 server that I never got off the ground yet. Still planning on doing it, but with RAM and you know server prices very high, I still gotta fill up this server here, which I will eventually. All right, I'll see you guys in the computer. I'll show you guys the UI for simplepod.ai and all that good stuff. Okay, so before I begin showing you guys my servers that are hosted on here, I just wanna quickly talk about for those that are on the rental side that want to rent out these types of servers, just what this platform is all about, all right? So there's two different methods for someone to rent out a server, okay, whether or not they wanna do it through a VPS, which is through a virtual private server, okay, has its own operating system, and you can install anything that you want, all right? Just like on a regular server uh, that you maybe put you know, Windows Server on, Linux, Ubuntu, whatever. They support both Linux and Windows VPS with GPU. Then the second one is, which I think is the more popular method for a lot of people, is the Docker images or Docker instances, uh, ready to train AI, AML models to handle compute tasks without configuring everything from scratch. So the prices, okay, they're actually pretty competitive against like, platforms like Vast and, you know, those types of platforms. But like I said uh, in the earlier in the video, they want to host high quality servers. So for anyone that is going to be using this platform to rent those servers, they hope to have that amazing uptime and such uh, on their platform for the people that are going to rent. So it's very easy to rent, you know, as VPS and choose your OS, start and stop anytime, pay only for disk, change GPU anytime and there's a public IP address as well with certain ports open and as well as the Docker method, okay, at which there's an amazing how-to video here for anyone that wants to go through uh, renting a Docker instance here. Um, ba basically selecting a GPU, which, you know, if you guys want to sign up for simplepod.ai and you want to play around with their platform here and renting a server, okay, say you want to rent my 6x3090 rig and you just go in here and you can select a Docker image they actually rent by Docker image. I forgot to click that. Docker image, go to 6x3090, select template, and you can click on PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, Olama, a lot of other uh, Docker instances that you guys can see here. <laughs> There's quite a bit here that I think most common that people you utilize on these types of platforms. So very easy to rent and such, but okay. So now let's go into my servers that I have here. Now, I can't show too much because there are, you know, public IP, static IP information here, uh, the type of ports that are open. But just on this page here, you guys can see I have two servers, the 6x3090 rig and the 10x3060 rig that I have hosted here. Again, this is something that not everyone is going to be able to get on this platform in order to host their rigs. Um, so you may notice here they have a community server like designation and for those that have, you know, like myself, a community server. So they say here, community server that might not be reliable. So network persistent storage, uh, secure facility, you know, with GDPR, ROGO compliance, redundant UPS, automatic power, fiber internet with SLA, backup internet connection, dedicated anti-DDoS, 24-7 monitoring, uptime can vary. All right, so this is me and a few other people uh, that have uh, that are on this platform right now. Again, not anyone can just sign up and host their rigs. You have to contact them and they're going to be vetting through the people that are wanting to host on here. And as well, you can see there are the data center uh, designated ones here. So they have all the green check marks in terms of having, you know, redundant UPS, automatic power, fiber, internet, dual internet, all that good stuff, uptime 99.9%. .9%. Okay, so that's why these guys are also maybe charging more and they have this designation because they have been vetted. And yeah, there are some heavy hitter uh, rigs on here, but there are a lot of, uh, I, I noticed that there are a lot of 4090 and some 5090 rigs on here that are rented already on their platform, which is, which is pretty awesome, which is pretty awesome. So anyways, I'm not rented right now, okay, because I just got on, but I don't have 4090s or 5090s. Uh, on this platform, which I think is more popular. But if I go into the, the servers here, you can see here, there are statistics of how much power they're being used, 
any errors, you know, Watts, GP is offline, GP is online. Uh, this is as far as I can go in terms of showing you guys uh, what's below, but you know, there's more stats of the server, IP address, ports, etc. And then here's my 10 by 3060 rig. Now, you may notice I have a warning, no IO MMU support here. So I do have VT-D enabled. It's the virtualization uh, pass-through BIO setting, uh, which I have enabled, but in simplepod.ai, I talked with them. They said Intel CPUs like the Xeons, even though they have VTD, they did not tailor their platform for Xeon. They tailored their platform uh, for AMD Epics. So that's why I'm getting this error here. But they told me that this won't be needed anyway for uh, Docker. But if it's on, I think, a VPS, I think that's where the issue may lie, uh, where my server here will, will not work well for VPSs. Don't quote me on that, but that's that's how I'm thinking about it. But anyways, here's my 3060, 10 by 3060 rig. Hopefully someone rents it, but it's currently uh, not rented right now, but it's online and uh, it's, yeah, it's sitting sitting pretty here. Anyways, yeah, they have a lot of great stats here. I thought this was really cool as a, a hoster. So I will be adding more of my servers as time goes on. Uh, like I said, I want to search out my 3090s, put my 4090s in this Octo server and see how it goes. I may need to add more RAM. I think they also told me that I should add another 256 gigs of RAM. <laughs> but that's gonna be really expensive, but I will definitely look into that. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to give a little, you know, kind of a teaser here of what I'm getting into. Again, this is probably something that not everyone is gonna get into if you don't have a, you know, a server and epic, you know, epic CPUs, lots of RAM, all that good stuff. Dual internet, you also need a registered business. They're gonna ask for that type of information in order to get on this platform. I had to provide all of that stuff. So anyways, I will keep you guys updated how this goes, how this is going to fare, all right? My journey into this whole AI thing, I'm evolving essentially into the next step. And so I think this would be uh, this would be the next step for me. And um, hopefully it's uh, something that you guys like to see or just like to learn or yeah, live vicariously through me in terms of how I'm getting in, into all this. Um, but let me know what you guys think. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Again, if you want to sign up for simplepod.ai, link is down below and you can go ahead and you know try renting out a GPU or contact them. Also have their contact down below if you are a data center and so you can become get their uh, designation. Uh, they, I believe they have a lot of EU, not not very many North American servers. So anyone in North America, and you're a data center, you can get on this platform. Uh, but anyone that's also, you know, looking to rent out these types of GPUs, try it out. L let me know. I would like to see if uh, anyone likes to rent these types of GPUs out on these type on this platform i would definitely like to know your guys' experience as you test it out but from what i've heard as someone who is renting these types of gpus for whatever they're wanting to do like a type of ai workload they say it's pretty good from the person i talked to so anyways you guys let me know down below you guys have a good one peace out peace out